Okay, so today I have class on Mondays, but we have like group assignments, so it's more of um, just like if your group like has to schedule any like Q and A's with the professor, so like meetings like that. So we don't actually have like lectures or anything. Um, I think our next like research, I, I think it's a research proposal we have to do. It's due the 12th, so it's due next Monday. So I have like a whole week to do that, but I'm gonna actually get started on it today. I think we're just, cause I was going through like some of the, um, the group messages and everything on WhatsApp. So I was like reading through it. Um, one of my members was like, oh, we just have to do the same thing that we did for step one or for the first assignment, but we have to go like more into depth for this proposal or this assignment. So I have to like go through that. Maybe I'll be able to finish it today. I don't know. And then I'm gonna take a look because I normally have like a weekly discussion board post and um, in-class assignment every Thursday. So I go to that class, which is online. Well, that one's flexible, but I just do it online. So I could like, I don't know, it's just easier for me. So for that, I'm gonna save the in-class exercise for Thursday because he normally like explains it and everything, but I'm gonna do or look over. I think the discussion board opens Mondays. It might not, but I'm not, I'll double check, but maybe I'll be able to do that because normally I kind of just like rush through it on Thursday or I rush through it on Friday just to get it done before I have to head out to work. So I'm gonna see if I could like, cause I have time today and like take my time. Cause I remember when I took my time for one of the discussion board posts, I got nine out of 10. And then when I just like literally like did not have the textbook yet, I got like five out of 10 and I was just like writing nonsense and then like I think like maybe this week or the last week i i was rushing through it like i didn't take as much time so i think i got like seven out of ten but if i like actually take my time and like write out like something more in depth and actually like have more time to do it and think and stuff then i get like a higher mark so i'm gonna try to do that this week but honestly like i'm doing good in that class and then yesterday like i came back from work and i forgot that i had to do my assignment that was due at um 12 on sunday or 11 59 p.m so then i remembered like at the last well not really not really at the last second because like i remember at like 11 30 last night so i was like literally like heading to bed and then i was like oh man i gotta i forgot to do the assignment but luckily it was just like the academic integrity and the plagiarism like uh you have to do this, you have to get the certificate or the badges again. So I had to do that, which was quickly, just quickly did it. Um, so I did that last night. I'm gonna make some KD. I haven't had this stuff in so long, but I kind of want to use up like stuff that I have in my pantry or my, or my like cupboards here, just to use up food instead of like buying, buying, buying more. So it calls for, I think six cups, so I gotta do three of these. I gotta heat this up. That honestly seems like a lot of water. I think I'm just gonna do four. Cause I don't think this pot even holds that much. noodles i put them into the water i'm just waiting for them to cook so while they're cooking i also have or i got this package a couple days ago um for halloween like i wanted to actually be an astronaut i know i was princess peach that was like literally like a last minute costume because i went to party city and like that was like like costumes were sold out and everything and i was trying to find something that i could see myself actually wearing and wanting to be um, so that was like a very last minute costume. It turned out great and everything. 
um but i actually wanted to be an astronaut i wanted like when i was little i always wanted to be an astronaut and like because i remember i went on like this one trip i think it might have been at the science center where we it might have been in grade six where we like pretended like it was like this whole like simulate or not simulate it was like this whole thing where we were like at different stations in like a uh, space center i guess and we were like doing different roles and stuff and i had so much fun and like even like before that i remember like i drew um like i used to draw like picture books that i would like write or make and i remember i drew like sarah and jake like i don't know if i have them here i might have the books here i'll go search but i remember i drew like a space book of like these two astronauts called sarah and jake and like them going to space and everything and i remember yeah I loved I love space but way too much school way like that's a lot plus like physics chemistry biology like all the sciences and sciences and then also the math well the math is like I like math but it's like a lot of school and it's like I don't know I always found like the science courses to be harder but anyway so actually I got the um this it didn't come for the longest time and i was like waiting and waiting my helmet the astronaut helmet it came like a little it came like earlier but it didn't come in time for halloween so i wasn't able to be like an astronaut this year but i still have the costume like maybe i'll wear it like next halloween or like honestly I'll, i'm i'm still gonna keep this costume for just because like i've always wanted to be an astronaut and it's super cool um so i have the helmet i already tried it on and everything like before and everything it's, like so cool um, so I finally, like, asked, because I got this from Spirit Halloween. This was my first time, because, like, I went in person to, like, a couple of their stores, but I couldn't find any, like, costume that I could see myself, like, wearing, because, like, a lot of the costumes were, like, sold out and everything. Like, it was, like, very, like, just, like, costumes that you wouldn't want to be and everything, and, like, miss like, costumes that didn't have, like, matching parts that you could actually, like, put together. So I, um, they actually sent this out but it got lost in like transit, I think that's what they said. So they sent it out again, this jumpsuit. So I'm gonna see if it fits. Ooh. And it comes with a hat. See this hat, I would actually wear it out like from day to day. NASA. Yeah, I, I have to try this on. Oh, okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like. And then I also have like the actual helmet. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on and see if it fits. You can, you can keep it moving if you wanna Take a number out your phone if you're gonna I ain't even gonna strip, I ain't mad I know how to act You won't even catch me talking trash I could get it poppin' if you want it Have you looking over shoulders real haunted But I'd really rather take a step back Time's moving fast and it's already healing my stress People make time for what they want So if you ain't gonna call me, then don't front You ain't gotta lie Plenty of people still around me think I'm fly. People make time for what they want. So if you ain't gonna call me, then don't. What's the chance you're calling me out? What's the chance I'm gonna hear it coming out of your mouth? What's the chance you're putting me out? So I actually don't have to do a discussion board post um, this week. I just have to do the in-class exercise which i'll do thursday during class like afterwards when he explains it um that's what i typically do with the in-class exercises um normally like we have a discussion board with this but he said like use like the extra time to like work on i guess a group assignment which i don't know that we i didn't know that we had so i guess hmm Oh, actually, maybe it might be this. Or maybe the case report, I'm guessing, but that's like due at the end of March. By the way, 
they added this like huge sign Seneca Nanji Foundation School of Nursing. I think I think they added it in the in the summertime. Um, so I guess they're like sponsoring this Nanji Foundation is sponsoring the school now. And I guess they moved the nursing students up here. There's a super cool like pink sky sunset behind me. I literally just finished um, making like a um, YouTube video like about I think all the different like diplomas and advanced diplomas you can um, do here at St. College to transfer into a bachelor's degree program. And then I come out and there's a pink sunset. Hey, so today I had to go grocery shopping. I normally go or I try to go once a week now. I don't have to go like once a week. Normally I kind of like my stuff, it, it lasts more than a week, but typically like once a week. Um, so I just wanted to show you all of like the tip typical like groceries that I get like weekly, I guess. Um, I go to the no frills here. It's like a block away um, just because it's like convenient. It's like cheaper than like some other grocery stores. Um, but I just wanted to like show you everything that I typically get in a week, how much it is. I overall spent about, it was supposed to be $57, so about $60-ish. Um, but I used like my optimum points that I like had like I guess accumulated so I got $10 off so I spent $47 today but it's typically like around $57 so I will just move this situation over okay so first things first um breakfast well um so I started getting into like breakfast sausages so I got these actually let me see my receipt okay so I got this pack of sausages they are maple flavor breakfast sausages and they are $6.99 I noticed like a cheaper one it's the same thing but it's like I think it's turkey um it's $4.99 at no frills but I I like I don't know I haven't tried the turkey yet I tried turkey bacon like a while back ago um but it, it, I prefer like bacon so I was like I but I, I did try the turkey bacon but it wasn't it wasn't the same so I just yeah I, I, I see the um and it's cheaper the turkey so I saw the turkey sausages and I was like same, it's probably the same thing I mean I'll, I'll still eat it but like it's this is only two dollars more and it tastes good um so this is $6.99 And then this carton of large 12 eggs. Um, this is $3.79 and I have about like two a day or usually at breakfast. And then juice. So this is guava mango blend. I sometimes get the orange juice. It is $4.79. And then oat milk I always get for my tea. I ran out today so I was like a little... Ups well not upset but I was like I can't have tea without oat milk and honey but I had honey so I had to like run to the store the only thing I don't like about that no frills is that it's, it opens at 8 I wish it opened like an hour sooner or like earlier because like sometimes I wake up here at like 5 30 or like 5 a.m and I like I do some work and then it's like some, like most like I don't know it's like if I'm up I might as well like get like errands done and stuff so I was like I like if I wake up at like 5 or 5.30 then it's like I gotta wait around until the no frills opens up to like grocery shop but yeah this oat milk is it is $4.79 and they had a or they had a deal that I could have got two for $8 but I 
I remember I like stocked up on like groceries before and like I think I got like two weeks worth or like more than that and like my my um I think my milk got rotten before so I just like I just buy one at a time now parsley I get for my eggs $1.99 get about it comes in like like that it's like or like elastic around it and then next my green onion i also get this for my eggs this is only 99 cents they didn't have it last week like uh it's stocked so i was like pretty excited that they had it this week because green onion it tastes so much better than like the other onions and it tastes really good in like eggs or like breakfast omelet if you're trying to have so i was really happy that they had it this week um next i try to get lettuce for like either a salad or my sandwich that i have for lunch sometimes um so they used these used to come in like threes so there used to be like three of these but now they like they um shrunk it down to two lettuces which i don't like but what can you do i guess um so that lettuce is, hmm, okay, it's hard to like find everything on this. Well, it's not hard, but like, I'm like, I literally don't see this on, on here. Oh, okay. So the two pack romaine uh, hearts, it was named something different. So it's $2.99. I get like, whatever, normally the turkey breast is like cheaper, as I've said before. So I do get this. It does. It tastes good just like as sandwich meat so i get this for my sandwiches and it is six dollars for two packs this is like 300 grams i don't know how many slices that is though that usually lasts me like two weeks um this usually lasts me like a week and a half if i just do like a couple salads and then some sandwiches the oat milk typically lasts like a week and a half, juice like week and a half-ish, parsley lasts like a lot, mo a lot more than that, green onion lasts a lot more than that, sausages, um, I usually have like two for my breakfast, so like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, yeah, it lasts like more, it lasts like two weeks, and then eggs like last like about almost two weeks like because there's i think 12 in it um okay next is my bread that i get this is sweet bread honestly it's like the cheapest bread that i can find there it's just like literally it looks like that um so this is 2.99 and then bananas i get so I normally have a banana a day and this is so it is and I actually always remember like the barcode number it's always 4011 because I always get like a bunch of bananas um because sometimes like you get some of these like produce and like they don't have the sticker on it so then like sometimes you forget the number when you're like checking out I normally go to the, like the self checkout so this is 4011 the barcode and it's 1.315 kilograms and it's at one a dollar and 30 cents per kilogram so i got it for a dollar and 71 cents and this is like four five six seven eight there's eight bananas so um a week in a day i normally have muffins in the in the morning time so i have like one muffin there's like six in this I switch it up, so whatever muffins they have, like cranberry, berry, medley, this one I got, blueberry. Um, they have like carrot, but carrot, eh, I like it, but it's like, I prefer like a berry muffin. So these muffins are $6, so about a dollar per muffin. And then I ran out of soap, so I had to, I ran out of oat milk and I ran out of like soap, otherwise I wouldn't have like went grocery shopping, but those are like necessities that you need. Otherwise I would have put it off for like another day. Um, so it comes with two. I already opened one and used it when I came back from the store to wash my hands. So it comes with two and the soap is uh, Dove Bar Soap Sensitive Soap. 
and it is $4.99. And then I've been into like Chef Boyardee, like this spaghetti. Um, so I, cause I used to have these when I was like a kid, when I'd like go to school and my mom would like pack this for me in like a thermos. So I always found it to be good. Um, I'm sure there's like more meatballs in it cause like there's only like a couple, but still it's like, if I'm like so tired from work and I come back and it's like, I could just like pop this open cause it has like that little tab and then put it in like a pan, heat it up and eat it and then I'm good to go. So this, I got two of them. So that is, so for two of them, or one of them is $1.99. So for two, I got it for $3.98. Irish stew, I sometimes used to have when I was a kid, but this is like, it was nearby this and I had this and it tasted good. So this is like, an, it's the same thing. Like you just pop it open, but it's like more of like a stew. So that I got for $2.79 and then, because I'm a college student sometimes like well also like meals are like expensive and like sometimes I just need like something fast and like that's quiet because like sometimes I come home late from like work and I just want to have like something fast and like quiet that I don't have to like microwave or make noise or like have to wash dishes afterwards so I get like Mr. Noodles or this like bowl of noodles so um this bowl of noodles this one it costs 128 and then the mr noodles it costs 119 and recently i've been into like the spicy flavors so it's like red <laughs> the packaging and yeah i think that's it so yeah the total was 57.91 but i used my 10 dollars like optimum discount so i got it for 47.91 but that's typically like a weekly grocery haul or how much I spend in a week with my groceries so I I started getting like period cramps like today and then I was like I can handle this like I don't need any like pain medication I don't need any Advil or anything so then I'm like I don't know like every time like I get cramps it doesn't like it it like lasts for a while it lasts for like a bit and then like for a little while it's like i'm perfectly fine and it's like i don't feel anything and then like it comes back or if like i change positions it like it goes away and then it comes back and then i guess that's what like um contractions feel like like they come and then you're okay for a while and then they come but obviously like this is like way 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 less compared to like actual contractions but like because i'm like when i'm like completely fine i'm like i don't need any advil or anything like i'm all good i can like you know get back to like life i don't have to like lie on a bed and like be in pain or anything but like then it comes back it switches it's basically like switches up and, like it comes back and then it's like bam like you thought you or you thought that I was done with you? You'll never be the one I can count on. No way, I'll never be the one you want. Hey, good morning. It's currently 11.02 a.m. I have my class. Um, it's online, so I have my lecture at 11.40, goes to about um, 2.20, but I start work today at 2.30, so I have to leave, it takes me like about a half an hour to get to work, um, but I'm going to leave a little bit early, so I'll probably leave around maybe like 1.50, 1.55, so I'll probably have to like exit class early. Which, honestly, like, normally in this class, he lets us go early anyways to work on our class assignment and discussion board post. I know we just have, like, the one class exercise today, so I'll, like, I'll, I'll be in class till then, and then I'll, um, I'm not working for, like, the whole day today, just a couple of hours, and then I'll come back, like, in the evening, 
and I have to do my re or I have to like do my research paper. I already started like some of it, but I have to like do most of it or do like the rest of it today because my like group member he wants it done, and it's due it's due Monday, and then I gotta do my class exercise today when I get back as well. I'll be able to do that for sure today, but I don't know if I'll be able to like completely finish the research paper today. I'll probably have to do it Friday. For my um, Tuesday class, I literally like I I kept getting, getting like this email from some from like another classmate in the class like asking like um, can you, you like add me to the group chat and then I'm like. I double check because I'm like, oh, I'm in a group for this, but I don't think we created a WhatsApp group message yet. And so I double check WhatsApp. There's no group message made. Okay, so we didn't create one yet. But then I go onto Blackboard and I see that I'm the only one in the group now and that like they're in a different group. And the problem with this is like I added or like the first day of class. I think the first week of class I went to class and then my friend asked me to be in his group okay and then so we both registered to be in or we both added our names to a group that first week and we had like maybe like two other people join the group so I was like already in a group from like the first week of the semester and then it's now like February but luckily like we don't have any like group assignments like I think they're coming up, but like they aren't due yet or, or we haven't like started working on them yet. And so I thought I was like good. I was like in a group and, and everything was all good. So then I go on, I check it out Tuesday and I see I'm the only one in, in like a group. And then I see like one other person is the only one in their group too. And then there's like two other groups. There's only like 18 people in the class. And the professor said like we can work in groups of eight. So there's already two groups made, they're full two groups of eight, 16 people. So now I have to, so I emailed the professor. I was like, did someone like rearrange? Or like, I was like, I, I told him like the situation. I was like, I was in a group and I thought like everything was all good. Um, But then I see that I'm the only one in the group now. Like what happened? And he's like, oh, I had nothing to do. Oh, like I had nothing to do with like making the groups and everything from my understanding like Tuesday class like everybody like rearranged themselves and I'm like I'm thinking to myself I'm like so my friend who I'm like in literally like the class I'm in today you literally couldn't message me and like tell me or like ask me because I haven't the thing is I haven't like been going to that class because only one like the first week and it is in person, but it's like, if you're just reading off the PowerPoint slides and there's no like group assignments yet that you're explaining or there's like no in-class exercises that I have to come for, like I'll come like occasionally or I'll come only when like it's needed. So I didn't know they were gonna like rearrange the group chart and everything. I thought like I was already set up and good. But I'm just like thinking to myself, I'm like, isn't it like courtesy to like, I'm in your group for like another, like you have me on WhatsApp, you could have just like messaged me and asked like if I was still in the class if you were wondering because I haven't been like showing up in person. Or you could have just like told me, oh, we're re oh like I'm going to join a different group now, like just give me like a heads up and said like you just leave me in like a group by myself. So I'm like, you didn't even have like the courtesy to do that. That's, that's pretty mean. But whatever. So then I like I asked my professor, I'm like, and I told him I'm like, there's two groups of eight already. There's 16 people in the, or there's 18 people in the class. So you expect me to do these group assignments just with one other person? And he's like, if that's the case, like, please proceed. I don't know whatever that means. So now I have to do these group assignments with just other one. With, so now I have to do these group assignments with just one other person, while everyone else gets to do with like seven other people in their group and do like a lot less work, which is fine. Like, I'm just like wondering, like you literally couldn't just like message me and ask or like message me and tell me like, or even like you, you had to go into like a completely, you had to form a completely different group, even though there's like already people in your group, like you couldn't just add a couple people 
I don't know, but now I have to do like all these I, I haven't looked at the group assignments, but I have to do like all like and I have to that's another thing, I have to message the other person and tell them we're in a group now I can't remember if I put this on because I was so distracted so I gotta put it on again, I guess but yeah, and it's not even like like when I found out I was like annoyed even now I'm like still annoyed about it but now it's just like okay I kind of like accept it and I'm just like okay now I have to do all these group assignments like with just one other person and hopefully I can get in contact with them but like they literally like didn't like I'm gonna be like most likely seeing them in class today and like you didn't even like that's something that bothers me like you didn't even like mention it to me or like ask me if I was still in my class and be like hey like are you still in my class like I haven't seen you in I haven't seen you like in class for a bit um just wondering if we're still in the group together like something like that also Chinese New Year's coming up so me and my sister or my sister she's gonna be coming I don't know if she's gonna be coming over like here she might because like we're just gonna go to um Pacific Mall on Friday and like because they always have like all the stuffed animals, decorations and everything and we're gonna like explore our shop, like eat, have fun so she's gonna be coming over on Friday so I might do like I was supposed to clean or I wanted to clean yesterday but I was like annoyed by this situation I also just was not feeling good yesterday like I took I took like a couple Advil yesterday because I kept having like menstrual cramps but it was it was like I took Advil and then like the cramps went away and then like once the Advil like wore off I guess then I got them again and so I was like in this cycle of like I worked on my research or I worked on my research paper for a little bit okay ate some food had cramps okay I have to go lie down take some Advil and then after like an hour okay the Advil kicked in I'm good okay like d run some errands I went grocery shopping run some errands do some other work whatever and then BAM they come back okay now I have to go back to bed lie down take another Advil wait like an hour for it to kick in Okay, now I'm good again. So it was literally like that cycle. Hmm, what's your creator? Uh, and you will need to understand the concept well before 
posting in July, looking at that as well. So this week's inclusive results will be uh, asking you to come up with 11 different strategies to reflect what you will learn. Hypothetical, hypothetical uh, strategies for week after you will have a test, which I'll be talking about next week. So I ended up getting in contact with my classmate that I have to do like the group project with like just me and him for me and them, I don't know. Um, so that's all sorted out. Um, yeah, I looked over like the group assignments and it doesn't seem like a lot. Like I have to do a lot more work that it's just like now that I have to do in a pair instead of like in with like eight people in a group, but it's not like it's not too hard. Like the assignment I read it over, it's like just a research paper and a presentation and we already picked our topic and like what we're gonna write about and everything so all good to go with that oh the wind sounds very like ferocious today um so it's currently 10 21 a.m um i'm gonna meet my sister in about couple hours maybe at 12 or 1 we're gonna go i don't know if she's also or i don't know if she's gonna come back here and chill for a bit so i i'm gonna make myself a tea and then i'm gonna clean up a bit so i'm gonna like lysol vacuum Okay, so it's currently 3.20 p.m. I'm gonna go meet my sister now. Um, and then we're gonna go shop and see all like the decorations and everything.